Welcome! In this video we're going to do an unboxing of the Thunder Rolls board game designed by Richard Launius. So down at the table, this is a Kickstarter that I backed and purchased a little extra. We'll see about that here in a little bit. So this is a dice game for one to eight players, lasts about 30 to 60 minutes, and for ages 10 and up. Looking on the back, Thunder Rolls is a fast-paced dice placement stock car racing game for one to eight players, brought to you direct from the mind of Richard Launius, designer of Arkham Horror, Freedom 5, Fate of the Elder Gods, Defenders of the Realm, and so many more. Player interaction is a hallmark of this dice rolling action selecting speed test. Whether you're battling for priority position on the action spaces in the rolling phase or weaving through traffic in the thunder phase at 180 miles per hour, creating havoc in your wake, fast and furious fun is guaranteed. So let's go ahead and take a look inside here. So on top we have our rules book and 24 pages long. So on the front, uh, just giving us our contents, so going through setup, rolling phase, and so forth. Let's see, here we've got our setup, placing the board out, and the steps for doing all that. Uh, the explanation of the components on the table, then playing the game, the basics, and then into our rolling phase. And rewards and penalties interlude, and the thunder phase. And we've got moving, scoring, action spaces, describing those, then each one of them in detail. And we've got our non-player or NPD uh, and action cards. The game board in detail, cards in detail, qualifying some more about the cards, and then our advanced cards, champions, chip season, so you can just do one also, or you can set up a season to go through. And gameplay for one to three players. And you go to tracker and an icon summary. And there's our rule book there. Then we've got two sticker sheets. So you can tell we're gonna have eight cars here, two, four, six, eight. And we've got some different stickers. So of course, Board Game Geek, Tantrum House, Game Toppers, and other things. And you can put any number you want. Of course, you do need to stick with these color schemes. So and we've got two sheets of those. Then getting on to our board, which looks to be rather big. We'll unfold that here, if I can. And not going to fit all on camera. So just going through our laps, different speed, thunder, hazard, crew chief, and NP action cards. Got our weather stack up here. Then our dice placement down at the bottom going across there. So a little closer look at our action spaces. So our priority for second or third. Uh, the die numbers we need to spin to get the pit stop action or rubbing in this racing, low line, crew chief, the high line, and the groove. And let's see here. Then I guess this is our short, just nice circular map. And then for a longer race, a different map style. I'll go ahead and zoom out here. So here we've got the full course for us, going over our pit stops, different action placements, board in the center, and then the other side all at once there. Then zoom back in for the rest of our components. Got some punch boards. So for different teams, green team, blue team, and black team, and orange team and punch out rather easily and what I consider the standard size for all of uh, cardboard components. So Team Orange with fresh tires and Team Orange needs some service and I believe they're all going to be looks like the same thing on all of these. Then our other teams, Team Purple, Team Red, Team White, and Team Yellow. Both sides for them, good tires and needing some service. And the rest of these, we have our non-player driver simulator tiles, got some hazard tokens, no pit, then our drivers for 
laps in her score position, then the thunder rolls for pole position and passing tokens. So dual sided there. Then we've got our cars. Let's take a look here. Look like they're going to be all the same. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use stickers or go ahead and paint these. But you can see they're laid out explaining where we put the stickers on the cars there for our different colors. And like I said, all these other numbers or things are just spicing it up for however we want. So I've got eight cars. And like I said, they all look to be the exact same mold. And we've got a bunch of D6s here. So nothing fancy about these dice. Just your normal square D6. And for each color, I believe there's going to be eight of each color. Yep, that you'll be rolling on your turns as you play the game. And tossing some cards around. So we'll go ahead and take a closer look at these here. All right, got everything laid out here on the track. So we'll just start by looking at our NPD or non-player driver cards. So Team Black and just going over them, the random die rolls, a stroker. Then Bert Bumper Barker, out of my way. Annie Speed for green. Ben Herman. Then Sylvia Silverstreak. Frank Fireball Sutton. Dickie Snyder. Ronnie Joe Dixon. Thunder McKing. No Dice Rogers. Chase Chevy. Billy Tex Johnson, Gus Gallagher, Melissa Darling, Earl Ellison, and Junior Banks. And for our qualifying cards, just uh, different numbers you're going to qualify for and whether you get a special ability or not. So rolling phase, getting some special abilities in there, and then these are just qualifying. Then we have action space and team tile icon, just going over those different things. Thunder and speed card icons. Then we have our different race areas. So they start with where they recommend you start and work your way up all the way to 19. So we've got Beacon, go over the special rules, different effects, and where the race is, and just some statistics there for the board, race length, and the track type. And we've got Tantrum House, sure you've seen them on YouTube. And uh, Boardwalk Find Games. Board Game Geek. Small World Gaming. Walter IP Law. So basically part of the Kickstarter, you could pay extra to be one of the race tracks on the game. So Audubon, Laughing Rogue, Little Plastic Train, Jason Irby, The Game Foundry, Solo Board Game or BG, your Turn, a board game cafe. Major Malfunction. And then this guy, Dale the Casual Gamer, think of her to him. So yeah, I went a little all in on this game. And of course, Rob's Tabletop World, the guy I blame for me getting this game. And when I say that, I mean, he did an interview during the Kickstarter with the designer. So very useful to see that in play. Uh, Gray Raven Gaming. Zero at Games, and Tyson Wells Game Store. Then we have the Advanced Rules cards. So going over three wide racing, multi-card drafting with a slingshot move, pit strategy, gas and go, 
Highline comes in and hugging the wall. Forced entry and racing to the flag. Then we've got some weather cards for when it's nice and sunny, partly cloudy, overcast, rain, some more sunny, partly cloudy, overcast. So just different versions for different types of weather. Then on to our speed cards. Just giving us how far we're gonna move and some abilities. So crossover, drafting with different numbers, some clean air, side draft. And a few more of those, work the pack. Then we've got some thunder cards. So just more abilities. And some hazard icons look in on some of these. And a few more. Some side drafting, some horsepower, and working the pack. Wrecker or checker. And on to our hazard cards. Brush the wall, out of gas, that's never good. Body damage, some worn tires, some brakes, high temperature, and trash on the grill. Then we've got some crew chief cards. So some different ways to reroll, block, dialed in, slingshots, flipping a die, and a quick pit. And lastly, some NP action cards. And they're just going to, depending on the rolling phase or thunder phase, some, I guess, random number generators and some with some special abilities. And with that, that's everything in Thunder Rolls. As always, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.